Most sports have their ritualistic preparations. The fisherman fussing endlessly with his tackle, the solemn scraping and oiling of cricket bats, and every footballer's obsession with his boots. This Malayan game is certainly no exception. Ten men straining on ten ropes tied to a palm tree. They're not trying to pull the tree down, they're simply loading their spinning tops. One end of the rope is wound round a short central spindle in the middle of the top, and the other end is tied to the tree to give purchase. As the men move inwards towards the tree, they're winding the rope as tightly as they can around the top. With six sweating turns, it's fully wound. For us, spinning tops go with toy trains and little dolls as possible presents for demanding nephews and nieces. But this is very far from being kid stuff. There's no other top in the world quite like the great Malay gassing. It weighs 12 to 14 pounds, a disc of hardwood turned on a hand lathe, rimmed with steel and balanced with lead. Some of the central spindles are decorated with delicate filigree work in silver and gold. Its preparation is a real bit of gamesmanship. And all the time, the drums are beating in the background, building up the tension in the air as the players build up the tension on their throwing ropes. It's hard enough to get that top to land on the little circle of bare earth, but the number two in the top team has his work cut out as well, to catch that spinning disc as quickly as he can, to scoop it up on the thin wooden bat, to carry it 20 yards, to transfer it oh so gently, and still spinning onto that row of bamboo stakes. There's more than one way of playing the top game. Sometimes two men throw simultaneously, each trying to knock the other's top out of the ring. If either one of them, or both, survive the collision, then they're collected up and carried tenderly over to join the others. Eventually, there's a top spinning away on every bamboo stake. Well, this is the time when this game, which up to now has been all action, suddenly becomes a waiting game. It really does seem to defy almost every scientific principle. It's as if the Malays had suddenly discovered the secret of perpetual motion. Because believe it or not, these tops will go on spinning for anything up to an hour. And it's the one that keeps on spinning the longest that's the winner. This is the time to when the, uh, when the betting begins. And I personally am going to have a dollar on this one over here, at two to one, and start doing my praying. Time passes, a time of speculation, lubrication, and syncopation. More time passes, some resort to desperate measures, odd specks of sand are scrupulously removed, and the band plays on. But now, time is almost up. Now you can tell the men from the boys. And of the survivors, one shows a dangerous and incurable wobble. He can't last, and he doesn't. There's no doubt about the result. A clear win for the man in the yellow sarong. And me, that's two and four to two to one, except that the book is Welsh. But for everyone else, it's a popular win. In this village, for this week at least, there's no doubt at all who's pick of the tops.